What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance, aka Shadow Boy from Bloodshot Records. And I got a little something to talk to you guys about. For those of you that don't know, um, myself and Ian, as well as the other founders of Bloodshot Records, a while back, we had somebody named Boogeyman on the label, who was actually a good friend of mine. He goes, his real name was Paul. But, uh, you know, me and him, we kind of, you know, parted ways for a while. And, you know, and we started talking again the other day and shit. Well, what does this little motherfucker do? He decides to date my ex, Candle Smith, the one who talks shit about me, right? Well, okay, fine. You know, they're dating, whatever. I don't give a f I disconnect myself from him. That way I can avoid her. Right? Well, what does this motherfucker do? This son of a bitch goes on fucking YouTube, makes a video... Saying that BSR is fake and that, like, all this shit's going down. As a matter of fact, I'll play you guys the video clip and I will post the link in the description. Like, I just got done watching it and this dude is sitting there saying, I'm attacking Kendall. Bitch, I ain't attacking you, Kendall. You're the one that's been attacking me. That's why I made that fucking diss track on your ass. Because I got tired of you not only attacking me, but attacking my family like my brother Brett. You had that fucking diss track coming, you stupid bitch. You had that coming. But for those of you that don't know, here's the video that Paul did about me. I'll be posting this shit in the comments for you guys to see for yourself. And while you guys are checking it out, I'll play it back for you. What's up? It's this motherfucker's off this goddamn um, rock. I know this is my first post in a while, but um, I have a little vendetta here. There's this guy named Chance Wilkins who goes uh, works with a fake record company called Bloodshot. He attacks my girlfriend because she won't sleep with him, claiming... She makes fun of him for having deformities, saying she won't sleep with him because he has deformities. And every time someone tells him his music is whack, he fucking gets butthurt about it and tells people, oh, he's making fun of me because I'm deformed. No, 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 dude, nothing like that. You a fucking racist who says the N-word in your music. At least when I say the N-word, at least I have fucking permission from my friends. And they're, they, they're, they're with me when I write the fucking music. And that's only a little part of what this motherfucker does. Like, this dude has been going on and on with this shit for a while now. Like, he's saying, I'm racist, dog. I ain't racist. Like I said before, my best friend, who's literally like my older brother, Kyle, he's black. Half my fucking best friends are black. Hell, my best friend Garrett's black. Like, come the fuck on, dude. Like, yo, Paul, you want to sit there and run your mouth about me, homie? You want to sit there and run your mouth about me? Who the fuck was there for you when you first started your music, dog? I was the one that was there when you first started your music. I was, matter of fact, I'm the one that brought you on the Bloodshot Records, bruh. I'm the one that brought you on the bloodshot. I made you who you were, man. You wouldn't be anywhere in your career if it wasn't for me, dude. I was the one that went out of my fucking way as a friend. As a fucking friend. And more like a brother. You were like a fucking brother to me. I went out of my way for you to help your fucking music career, homie. I went out of my fucking way for you, dog. To help you out. Because I saw potential in you. And then what did you fucking do bro? You went behind my back. Stabbed me in the fucking back. 
by dating my ex who's a fucking psycho who needs to be put in fucking jail for the shit she's done. Like, dude, what the fuck are you thinking, man? You sit there and say you want to be my friend and that you want us to work things out. All right, cool. And then when I warn you about Kendall, what do you do? You go off and run your fucking mouth about me. For what reason, dog? For what fucking reason? I warned you about that psycho. I warned you about her. And what did you do instead? You decided to do the most fucked up thing you could ever do and stab me in the back. So you want to run your mouth about me, homie? Go ahead. Go right up fucking head, dog. You know, you want to believe a fake ass bitch like Kendall? Go ahead. But just know that when you do, when you do stab me in the back, just know I'm pulling that fucking knife right back out and shoving it right back in your ass lyrically. So yeah, thanks for the ammunition and thanks for the weapons, dog. By you stabbing me in the back and doing what you're doing, you're just giving me more stuff to use against you. You're ultimately bringing upon your ultimate downfall in the music industry. You're bringing this on yourself, Paul. You stabbed me in the fucking back. And for what cause? You want to run your mouth about me? Go right a fucking head. Because nothing you say or do will ever affect my career. So, like I said, dude, go ahead and talk all the shit you want. I give no fucks. But when you sit there and you talk about how Bloodshot Records is fake, dog, we ain't fake. We're out here making fucking money to support our careers. All right? I do housework for 50, for fucking 15 bucks an hour doing housework making money. I work a regular job doing housework every fucking day. And my boy Ian works a couple of jobs to help support that shit. Oh, and if Bloodshot Records wasn't fake, dog, then why do I have two to three albums out on fucking Spotify and Google Play, homie? If we're fake, why do we have music out all over the web? Why do we have actual mainstream artists and underground artists who rock our shit. Like, hmm, I want to think. Oh, yeah. That's right. You got guys like Boondocks. Hell, we got a shout out from fucking Buckshot. So, yeah, dude. Even Buckshot, one of the biggest underground rappers in the fucking world, rocks our music, man. He jams out to our shit all the fucking time. Hell, I just got done doing a feature with the homie Cryptic Wisdom the other day. So if we ain't legit, then why are we rocking this shit every day, dude? Why are we making fucking big ass moves? You need to think about that, man. Yeah, we might not be making money, but we're making moves that you can never hope to make, dude. You can never ever make the moves that me and my boys on Bloodshot make. Because unlike you, I know where my loyalty lies. My loyalty lies with my brothers Ian, my brother Eric, and everybody else that supports us. That's where my loyalty lies. But where does yours lie? You need to think about that, man. I could have helped you. I could have helped get your career going the right fucking way. But what did you do? You stabbed me in the fucking back like a little bitch. And that ain't okay with me, dude. That's not okay with me. So like I said, you want to run your little bitch mouth about me? Go ahead. But at the end of the day, I'll just end you and your career just like I did every other motherfucker. And yes, I can end your career. And I will. Because I have that kind of power. Do you not realize you're fucking with a god of the underground music scene, dog? Do you not realize this by now? Like, you're, you fucked up. The minute you turn against me and stab me in the back and decide to make me the enemy and go against me, that's the minute that you fucked up. You know, I, I had nothing against you at first. As a matter of fact, I warned you. I tried to help you, bro. I tried to fucking help you. 
I tried to sit there and help you, and I warned you about what this fucking ex of mine would do. But what did you do? You turned your back on me. Made me the enemy when I give you a, I gave you a fair shot to make things right, dude. I gave you a fair fucking shot. I told you, hey, you know, like, you don't need to be, you know, with this shit. She's fucking nuts. This is the shit that she has done to me. Like, I was telling the truth. I was being honest with you straight up, Paul. I told you what was going on. But like I said, what did you do? Instead of listening to my advice and taking what I told you into consideration, you stabbed me in the back. And like I said, dude, you stabbed me in the back, that just gives me another weapon to use against you when I end your fucking career in music. Because you don't have the kind of pull that I've got. You haven't worked with the artists that I've worked with. You haven't busted your ass like I have. You don't know how many fucking hours and sleepless nights I have gone through perfecting my craft, busting my ass to put out the best fucking music that I can. You have no idea what it's like to go on no sleep and four to five to six hours of hard ass work a fucking day. You don't know what it's like to put in hard work, dude. I do. I've done this shit for 10 plus years, dog. You don't know the hard work that I've put in. You don't know the friends and hell, you don't even know the connections that I have. As I said, I could have helped you get your career off the ground because I believed in you. I saw you not only as a friend, I saw you as a brother. I saw you as my fucking equal, bro. I saw you as my fucking equal. But what did you do? Instead of taking my advice and letting me help you to avoid this fucking psychotic bitch that don't give two fucks about you but wants to get revenge on me, you decided to take that fucking knife and drive it into my back like a fucking bitch. I never would have turned my back on you. I never would have done this shit that you did to me. I never ever would have turned my fucking back on you. The only reason I distanced myself from you in the beginning is because of the fact of some of the comments that you made about me not helping you about me not helping you out. When I told you, you need to learn your craft and what you do. You need to study that shit. Study the greats who did it. Study the people that I studied. Study the people that actually made it and actually had something to say. Prime example, fucking Tech Nine. Um, let's see, NK Forty Seven, Eminem, Crucifix, Boondocks, ABK. Hell, even a lot more than that. Like I can go on and on and on. Hell, even guys like fucking Mike Shinoda from Lincoln Park, man. Study the greats. If you truly want to be good at music, study what they do. Study what they did. See how they did it. And then apply what they did to your own shit. That's why I got to where I'm at, dude. Because I studied the greats. I studied the underground music scene for fucking years. Okay? I didn't release my first fucking solo album for like three fucking years. Until I studied the craft. I honed my skills. But what are you doing? Sitting there running your mouth like a little pussy ass bitch. Like that's all you're doing. You're running your fucking mouth thinking that it's going to get somewhere. But it ain't dog. You ain't shit compared to me. And you never will be Paul. Not unless you change your fucking attitude. And get rid of that fucking psycho bitch. That does nothing but run her mouth. And want to get revenge on me for no fucking reason. This shit she's saying to you dude. They're all fucking lies. You need to stop believing it. They're fucking lies, dude. That's all they are, are fucking lies. You say you can end my career? That you got a vendetta against me? Nah, bitch. You ain't got shit on me. Because you ain't gonna do nothing to me. 
I've worked my ass off for every fucking thing I've got. I literally came from being fucking homeless 13 fucking years ago to being where I'm at now through hard ass work. Every fucking day I busted my ass for my career. I earned my fucking way. I earned every fucking step of the way. Everything I've done, I have fucking earned through hard ass work. Every day I put my blood, my sweat, my tears, sleepless hours and countless fucking nights busting my ass for this career. And when me and Ian started Bloodshot Records a year ago, we started it from nothing. It was an idea. Bloodshot Records is for real. You might not think we are, and your little bitch girlfriend Candle might not think we are, but guess what? Reality check, homie. We're as real as they come. Just because we're not all over the fucking world touring, doing music, don't mean that we're not fucking legit. Because let me tell you something, dude. Ian, a.k.a. Bradley, just did his first show last year. And he's getting ready to do another one. As a matter of fact, later on this year, I'm booking a show down here at Lock 3, homie. So, dude, you can't sit there and say that we ain't making moves. You can't sit there and say that we're not busting our ass for music. Yeah, we might not have an official website. And yeah, I get that having an official website is crucial. I get that. But that's coming really soon. We're working our asses off to be able to actually buy the domain name so that when people look up bloodshotrecords.com or bloodshotrecords.org, they see our shit. Our stuff comes up. Our stuff is what they see. You know, and it, and it makes me sick, dude. It really does, because I treated you like a fucking brother. I treated you like family. I tried to be nice and warn you about how that fucking psycho Candle Smith really is. I warned you about her. I told you what she would do. And what did you go and do? You did exactly what I said not to do. And you turned your back on me and stabbed me in the back like a fucking coward. As I've said, dude, I would have never done that to you. If you were to tell me, hey, this bitch is nuts, you need to stay away from her, I would have listened. I would have fucking listened. I would have said, hey, yo, thanks for looking out. And if you wanted proof, if you wanted fucking proof about how nuts she really is, all you had to do was ask me, and be like, hey, yo, can you send me a screenshot or a video or something? And I would have done that. I would have sent that to you. Because believe me, I got more than enough fucking proof backing up the fact that this chick is fucking off her rocker. She's fucking nuts, dude. She's a fucking psycho. And everyone fucking knows it except you. Because you're too fucking butthurt and pissed off at the fact that your girl left you and cheated on you. That you'll date any motherfucker that'll be with you. You don't give a fuck if they're psycho. You hell, honestly, I don't even think you give a fuck that you turned your back on me. When all I ever did was look out for your ass. If I didn't give a fuck about you, dog, why would I sit there and help you out with your career and do what I could to help you to help guide you in the right direction instead of fucking you over? Yeah, I could have done like a lot of these fucking labels have done to me. I could have gone and did the fucked up thing and screwed you over. But the reason I didn't is because I believed in you. I saw potential. I saw somebody that could have been a great fucking artist. Somebody who I would have been proud to work alongside. Somebody who I would have been proud to do collaboration with and ultimately see grow as an artist. And as a person. 
But because you stabbed me in the back, you did what you did. You know, you just basically ended your own career. You basically committed musical career suicide. You basically ended your own career by doing what you did. By turning your back on me and doing what you did to me, man, you just basically blew your chances of ever, ever, ever making it in the music scene, dude. You just basically ended your whole career before it even started. Because I've got a ton of fucking connections to different artists and companies that would have loved to, they, they would have loved to work with you. They might not want to work with me because of what I do as far as music goes, but that's neither here nor there. I don't give a fuck about that. But I could have connected you to those people. I could have helped you out. You know, I could have hooked you up with several major artists, such as my good friend Matt, also known as PFV, on YouTube. He's a major fucking artist who I know you might have, you probably would have enjoyed working with him. But no, instead of fucking being patient and honing your skills as an artist, like I told you, what did you go and do? You went and shot your fucking music career in the fucking head. And basically ended it before it could even begin. So like I said, you got a vendetta against me? Go ahead and come and get me, motherfucker. I'm right here. I'm not hiding. I'm not hiding behind anything, dog. You want me? Come and fucking get me. Because I'm pretty sure that psycho bitch gave you my address. So like I said, dude, you want to come at me? Go ahead. Guarantee you. I guarantee fucking you. You step on this porch, your ass will be hauled out to jail along with that fucking psycho. And if you don't believe me, come on down here and fucking try it, pussy ass bitch. I'm right here. You want to talk about being an enemy? You want to talk about being a coward? The only coward I see here, Paul, is you. You and that fucking psycho bitch candle are nothing but cowards. Because all you do is run your fucking mouths. You ain't going to do nothing. Yeah, the cops may have been called on me a couple times because of her. But guess what? They didn't do a damn thing. I didn't go to jail and I'm never going to go to jail. Like I said, that dish track that I released on Kendall yesterday, she had that shit coming for a long ass time. She had that shit coming. The minute that she not only talked about putting me in a body bag, but the minute that she attacked my brother Brett and his wife and his kids, that's when she made that she made that diss track available to put up. I ripped on her for a damn good reason. And you think I can go to jail for that? You're wrong. Unless I actually go out and commit that crime and do that shit, they can't do a goddamn thing. They can't arrest me for a song. They can't do it. It's illegal. They will not do it. So you want to go ahead and, you know, do something? Like I said, go ahead and do it. Because I guarantee you at the end of it all, I ain't going to be the one leaving in handcuffs or a body bag. The only one leaving in handcuffs is your sorry ass along with that fucking psycho bitch. I guarantee you, her ass is going to be put in a fucking psych war. Because of how fucking off her rocker she is, dog. Like I told you, man, I could have fucking helped you. I could have fucking helped you out in a big way. I could have helped your career in a very big way. Yeah, it would have taken some time. But, dude, I could have pushed your career to a level that you really need to be at. I could have helped you so fast. I could have put you on the fast track to making it as an independent artist. I could have helped you with that because I've done it myself. I am a successful underground independent artist. Yeah, I might not be making very much, but at least I'm still making something. At least I'm making a solid living off of what I do. At least I'm going to be playing shows later on this year.
like I said, my boy Ian, also known as Bratley on Bloodshot Records, you know, he just got done doing his first, literally his first two shows last year. And he's working on more for this year, just like I'm working on some for this year down at Lock 3. So, like I said, you want to sit there and say Bloodshot Records is fake? We're not fake, dude. We're, le we're as legit as they come. Because guess what, dude? We have all our shit copywritten and everything, dog. We own, myself and Ian, we both own, we co-own Bloodshot Records. We both own that shit. We co-founded Bloodshot Records to help out artists like you who are struggling. Because we know what it's like to be there. We came from nothing. You know, we know what it's like to come from nothing. That's why we help out the artists that we do. Because we don't have money like that. Yeah, we'll take whatever money we can, you know, that we can get that comes our way. But for a bloodshot, it's not about the money. It's about helping artists like you out to become independent, professional artists. That's what Bloodshot's about. We don't give a fuck about the money. What we do give a fuck about is the music. Because let me tell you something, dog. I would rather save a life than take $100,000 any day. I will take saving three to four lives over a million bucks any day of the week. Because that one life is priceless to me. That one fan, that one person that I can help means everything. And I've saved lives through my music. I get messages every day on number one music from random ass people that I don't even know telling me how much they enjoy my music and how it's helped them. And a lot of them go through suicide. A lot of them have been there and they connect with the music and it helps them. That's therapy to them and it's I'll be honest, it's therapy for me too. Because I can put my stuff out there and people can connect with it. So you want to sit there and call my music fake? The only fake one I see is your sorry ass, Paul. Because you haven't busted your ass or worked your ass off for everything that you got like I have. Because let me tell you something, dude. When I first moved here to Ohio in 2008, I was homeless. Me and my mom and my brother, we were, we had nothing. We didn't have a goddamn thing. You want to know what we had to live in? Her fucking car. We lived out of the back of my mom's GMC Jimmy for about two years before we found the house. We were going between her job and different campsites the entire time. So I literally drug myself up from being homeless to doing what I'm doing now. And let me tell you something. I don't take a single thing for fucking granted. Unlike your ass. Because you have everything fucking handed to you. Because your family, your friends, those around you, they hand you shit. You've never had to work a day in your life because you have always had shit handed to you. You don't know what it's like to put in hard-ass work every fucking day. Having sleepless nights for weeks on end. Going only one to two hours of sleep in a week. Busting your ass. Doing what you got to do to make it. You don't know what it's like to put in hard work. I do because I drug myself for nothing. Yeah, I may be half blind. Yeah, and I may have a lot of medical issues wrong with me. But you know what? I don't let that fucking stop me. I bust my ass for everything I've got. Every fucking thing I've got. So like I said, dude, you want to sit there and run your mouth about me? Take a look in the mirror first, you stupid ass. You need to grow the fuck up and take a look in the mirror and stay in your own fucking lane and keep my name out your damn mouth. Because if you're going to turn me into the enemy like you did, you need to keep my name out your fucking mouth. 
Because like I said, I have more than enough firepower to end your whole fucking music career in one fucking shot. And if you don't think I can do it, try me. I've ended motherfuckers' careers before. Every single person that's gone against me has lost. Because I speak the truth when I do my music. I don't give a fuck what I call out names. I don't give a fuck what goes on. Because I speak the truth in my music. Every single song I put out is nothing but truth. It's nothing but real. All you do is talk shit. That's all you do. You will not put out a song ever. Like I have not once seen you put out a single fucking song. And here I am putting out hundreds of songs over the last God knows how many fucking years. Busting my ass. Whether it's a fucking rap. Whether it's a metal song. Whether it's a rock ballad. A fucking pop song. Or whether it's a fucking dubstep track. Or even a classical composition. I am always doing something musically to further myself. I'm not just sitting here on my ass just doing nothing. Yeah, I might play video games once in a while, but guess what? I make fucking music videos from that shit, dog. Like with GTA 5, I got fucking music videos I'm working on for that shit. Because they have a brand new director mode, which I'm using to create some cool ass fucking music videos from. I actually got a couple of small clips. That I'm working on right now. For a brand new song. I'm actually getting ready to release real soon. So I'm always doing something. To further my career. I'm always putting myself out there. Even when I'm not comfortable with it. I still do it. Because I believe in what I do. And I believe in Bloodshot Records. 110%. You don't know what it's like to work hard Paul. You've never, ever once had to work hard in your life. Yeah, you may have worked a job here or there. And granted, I'll give you that. But what happens every time you get a fucking job? You always get fucking fired and end back up at your parents' house. As I said, yeah, I might live at home with my mom's. But you know what? I bust my ass doing housework for her to help her out. And I get paid for it. I get paid to do fucking housework, dog. But what do you do? Sit on your fucking ass and not do a goddamn thing. All you do is you sit down and you fucking eat snacks. And you fucking sit goddamn thumbtacks in your fucking forehead all damn day. And you can't say you don't because you do, man. I do so at that video when you stuck fucking thumbtacks in your forehead live on a Bloodshot Records live stream. I still, we still have that up. It's still there. So like I said, Paul, you want to run your mouth about how you've got a career? Instead of sitting there like a fucking coward, not doing a damn thing to further himself, instead of being fucking lazy and not doing shit, why don't you get off your fucking ass and do something? Why don't you get the fuck up and show me something? Show me that you got it, man. Show me that you can do this shit. Because all I see right now, Paul, is a lazy ass motherfucker who don't commit to nothing. Who doesn't work his ass off like I do. So I want to tell you something, man. Me and my brothers on Bloodshot Records and me and my brother Eric on Killer Clown Sounds, we bust our ass every other fucking day of the week for this shit. But what do you do? You sit back on your lazy fucking ass and don't work for a goddamn thing. All you do is you talk shit and you run your mouth. That's all you do. So while you're sitting there running your fucking mouth like a lazy ass, I'm out here saving fucking lives, making a fucking difference for people like myself who don't have a goddamn thing. While you were sitting there before your music, before your whole fucking music career, dude, 
while you were sitting there twiddling your fucking thumbs wondering what to do with your life, I was honing my fucking crap. I was busting my ass with sleepless nights. I was busting my ass in the studio till my fucking throat swelled shut, recording and recording and doing what I had to do just to fucking get shit done. So like I said, you don't think I have a music career? I have bled for this fucking career. I have given every single ounce of what I have for my career. And what I do. As I said, I might not be a fucking superstar. But I don't want to be a superstar. I would rather remain in the motherfucking underground for the rest of my motherfucking life. Knowing that I'm helping somebody. Knowing that my music is helping someone out there who fucking needs it. While you're fucking twiddling your thumbs, sitting on your ass, wondering what to do with your life. Not knowing what to fucking do. I'm sitting here giving every single ounce of what I have to my career. And I'm busting ass doing it. So like I said, Paul, you want to sit there and run your mouth? Instead of fucking running your mouth like a fucking lazy ass idiot, why don't you fucking get up and do something? Stop being lazy and fucking work for what you want. Instead of being a lazy fuck, get up and do something with your life. Get up and fucking work hard. Show me what you got, man. Because like I said, dude, all I see right now is a lazy ass motherfucker who don't commit to a goddamn thing. All you do is you run your fucking mouth. That's all you fucking do, Paul. You sit on your ass, run your mouth, and then you go around stabbing people in the back after they befriend you. That's all you do. But like I said, dude, thanks for the knives in the back because guess what? Those knives don't hurt. Those knives I can just take right out and shove right back into your ass. Really quick and real easily, I could do that. So, yeah, dude, thanks for the ammunition. And hey, thanks for the weapons. Thanks for the firepower for me to use back against you. I could use that shit against you at any fucking time and you don't even realize it. And what you don't realize, Paul, is I'm one of the most dangerous motherfuckers in the underground. And you want to know why I'm one of the most dangerous ones? Musically in the underground because I've got nothing to lose and I don't bow down to nobody and I don't take shit from anyone Whether it be a major label or somebody like you who goes around stabbing people in the back I don't take shit for nobody and I defend everything I work for I Do what a real man does and I fight for my career and guess what? My career fights for me. Like I said, I may not, you know, be on a paying label, but I don't give a fuck. I would rather remain on Bloodshot Records and not get paid a damn thing, knowing that I saved someone's life, rather than be on a mainstream idiotic label that will eventually turn me into somebody that I don't want to become. You need to think about what you're doing before you fucking do it. And when somebody just sound the advice about, you know, staying away from somebody, you need to do it. Because like I said, dude, I warned you about how fucking psychotic Kendall is and what she's really like. I exposed you to the truth. I didn't hold anything back. I didn't hide anything. I told you how she really is. But what did you do instead of listening to my advice? You decided to go and cut our friendship and stab me in the fucking back. After everything I've done for you. After I've given every single opportunity to you that I could. What did you do? You threw those opportunities that I gave you right back in my face. And said fuck you to our friendship. And dated the one person you don't need to be dating. So like I said, Paul, 
You want to run your mouth? Instead of running your mouth, why don't you get up and do something with your fucking life? Instead of being a lazy ass motherfucker that doesn't commit to any kind of labor. You don't know what it's like to work hard. Not like I do. I literally came from being homeless to doing what I'm doing now and people enjoying what I do. I have literally come from nothing. Literally nothing. And I worked my ass off every uh, every fucking day. I have busted my ass to get to where I'm at. So, unless you want to fall apart with everybody else that doesn't know what they're doing, I suggest you get the fuck up off your ass, you put your motherfucking boots on, you lace them up, and you get down to fucking business. And you bust your ass every fucking day. Because otherwise, you ain't going to get nowhere fast. Unless you stop being a lazy ass motherfucker and commit to what you want to do with your life. You know, it's motherfuckers like you that piss me off. They think they own the world. They think they're better than everyone. But really, you're not. You wish you were me. You wish you could do half the shit that I've already done. As I said, I might not be superstar and worldwide, you know, mainstream famous, but as I said, I don't care about being mainstream famous. What I care about is saving lives through my music and helping people through my experiences and what I go through. That's what I care about. So like I said, until you man up, and you stop being a lazy ass fucking coward, and you start taking my advice and staying away from that fucking idiotic psycho bitch candle who's going to do nothing but fuck you over. Until you do that and you start listening to me, you're not going to get anywhere. Your career is basically done from this point on. Unless you break away from that fucking psychotic bitch. Because all she's going to do, man, is she's going to fuck you over just like she did me. So as I said, you want an opportunity to make your career right? You've got one right in front of you. Right here, waiting on your ass. But it's your choice. Are you going to take your career seriously and start listening to me and what I say? Or are you going to listen... Or are you going to listen to that fucking psycho and just let your career come to an end before it even begins? And let you get rid of that fucking psychotic idiot that doesn't know what's damn thing and what she's talking about. Your career's not going to go anywhere. You won't be able to get your career off the ground. And that's pure fucking fact. You know, it's sad, dude. I never thought I'd see the day that I had to call out my own brother. Somebody who I treated like family. Somebody who I saw as one of my best friends. And yeah, here I am having to call you out on your bullshit because you think I'm fake. When you and I both know I'm as real as they come. Because as I said, a human life to me is priceless. You can't put a price on that. And I would rather take saving one person's life over a million dollars any fucking day of the week. Because that one life, that one single life is priceless. You cannot put a price on a human life. You need to learn that. So as I said, you want to run your mouth about me? Go ahead. At the end of the day, you and I both know the truth. You and I both know that unless you stop listening to all these other people that are steering you wrong, you start listening to the right people like myself who truly want to help, 
your career is going nowhere fast. So as I said, dude, make your choice. Are you going to fucking listen to me and what I say? Or are you going to continue to be lazy and not do a damn thing with your life? It's your call, man. And if I were you, I would think really, really hard about what I'm doing. Because right now, you're messing with the wrong person. And honestly, man, I do hope you make the right choice, man. So as I said, you know, ball's in your court now, man. Make your choice. Are you going to stop this bullshit nonsense and actually listen to what I say? Or are you going to let this fucking psycho bitch control your life and let her end your career? Take your pick, man. It's your call, not mine. The ball's in your court. It's your move. 